Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'd like to share with you my current art journal setup. I am using a passport sized insert for my art journal and I am using this cover right now. This is the Fast Jasma Field Notes cover. And for full disclosure, I did receive this cover for free to feature on my channel, but everything I say in this video will be my own opinion. So let's just get to it. I've had this cover for about a month now and I did want to fully set it up and use it like I normally would and put in my pretty stickers and deco and just give it a really fair shot. So I do believe I can give you a solid review on this cover. And I have seen videos of this cover before but no one seems to be sure exactly how to say the name so I ended up asking the person who emailed me how to say it and they did give me the proper pronunciation. So it is Fast Jasma. So. I felt a little silly asking that, but they were really cool about it. So there you go. Mystery solved. Now back to the cover. This is their field notes cover if you take a look at it on their Amazon page. So it doesn't come with this little closure. I made this myself, which I will get to in a minute. But if you take a look at the leather, it's this really soft, I want to say crazy horse leather. It smells really, really good. Anytime I hold this cover, I want to sniff it. It just smells so delicious and it does mark up easily so you'll see these little scuffs here in the front that's from me opening and closing this little closure and you can see there is a bit of sheen to the leather this leather is so soft and plush and since i've been using it for a month it's gotten even softer so i love holding this leather it just feels so good so let's go ahead and open it up again i made this little button closure myself so all i did was i took a wooden button and then i attached an elastic cord and I just weed it through and made a magic knot on the end here. There you go. So it's not the most well-made closure, but it works for me. So the way I do it is I just wrap it around like this. And that works for me. So the knot is hidden behind the button. And then I open it like this. I just pull on this here. And there you go. So again, lots of scuff marks on the front from my button closure here, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me. And then I have a motor magnetic clip here in the front. One thing I do want to note is if you're to use a different type of leather to go with the Fast Jasma leather, there will be some color transfer. So the inside of my motor clip did have these little dark spots on it. So there you can see this is the lychee pink clip and I don't really mind it because you don't see it when you put it on your cover but just keep that in mind if you are going to be putting any sort of letter item on this or maybe something that's light colored it is prone to color transfer and then opening up my art journal i had a lot of fun setting this up because it's different from my usual passport setup usually i use a traveler's notebook with the strings in the middle but since i didn't have that i did have to think a little bit creatively on how to make this fun and artful for me so what i ended up doing is i took a foxy fix dashboard and i just slipped it over my insert here and that gave me the chance to be a little bit more decorative on this cover so here on the left side you do get two card slot pockets and since I'm not using this as a wallet, I just filled it with some stickers that I really like. I'm going for a fun pink floral theme with this cover. I just felt like that would go really well with the dark brown color here. These two floral stickers are from Amazon. The girl sticker is from AliExpress. I will link them down below if I can still find them. And then here on the side, you have a really long pen loop. And this to me was different from all of my other usual covers. So you can't really fit a lot of pens in this. I've noticed in other videos I watched that that is also a bit of a sticking point. I did find that the UniJet Stream F-Series pen, that fits perfectly in this pen loop. So as you see, it slips in really nicely in there. So that could be an option for you if you want to use this cover. When you close it up, it does bump up against the notebook here. If you fill the card pockets with things, that might not be as much of an issue. Let me put my Motrim clip in here. The Motrim clip does help the bulk a little bit, but you still get this pretty big bump on the cover. So if that's an issue for you, I suggest maybe just leaving this pen loop empty or using a really thin pen. So the placement of the pen loop does seem a little weird to me. I'm used to having it on the side of the cover here. So if I were to change something, 
in this cover, I would definitely move the pen loop here and just have that standard little pen loop on the side. I did see on their Amazon page that they do have a Field Notes cover with a pen loop on the outside here, and it also comes with a clasp. So I really like that cover. I might give that a try one of these days, and I would probably just buy it with my own money. But if you are looking for a Field Notes cover with a clasp and pen loop, I think that would be a really good option for you. All right, so back to my art journal setup. Again, this is a Foxy Fix dashboard that I just filled with my deco. This is a piece of scrapbook paper here as a background. And then I added some vinyl stickers, a butterfly and a flower, and then a stamp. And I actually washi taped these into the scrapbook paper because I was having some commitment issues. So let me see if I can show you. If you look really closely, there's that little gap there. It's because it's not actually pasted into the paper. It's just washi taped in. So that's my little tip for you if you're struggling with committing to a setup. Just washi tape things in and you can always take them out later on. So opening up the dashboard, I have another piece of scrapbook paper here on the inside and then some more vinyl stickers. And I made this little journaling card myself. So this is a sterling ink freebie. When you place an order with her, you get this little square freebie here. And then I added a happy planner sticker on top and then I just laminated the whole thing. So that's how I did it. And then here is my art journal. Again, this is a passport size, so it is shorter than the cover by a good amount. So that's also why I used a Foxy Fix pocket dashboard just to sort of camouflage how short this notebook is compared to the cover. And it's working out well for me. I don't really mind this. So here's the cover of my art journal. And I just have some more stickers, another stamp in here. And then the cover is, sorry about the focus, quotes and wisdom. So not only is this my art journal, this is my commonplace book. So this is a journal for all of the quotes that mean something to me, quotes that I want to remember, quotes that inspire me. So I don't have anything on the first page just yet. I did want to cover this up with some scrapbook paper, but I haven't gotten around to. And then this is just a collection of quotes that I really like. And I've posted this on my Instagram before. And then on the next page, so if you look back at my project pan video, you saw that I had a spread here that just completely did not work out. I kept messing up and I was not happy with it at all. So I ended up covering the whole thing with this printable from UNI Graphics. So that's what this floral background is. And then I collaged over it. And then here is the quote, the visionary starts with a clean sheet of paper and reimagines the world by Malcolm Gladwell. So I really like that quote. These stickers are from Amazon and I also have some stickers from Sticky Club. Again, I'll link everything below. And then I have this quote here. Look around. All that clutter used to be money. All that money used to be time. I have no idea where this quote came from, but I saw it in a video and it really stuck to me. So I decided to put it in here because I want to be able to remember this when I'm having trouble controlling my shopping because I do tend to emotionally shop when I'm overwhelmed and really stressed. And I am trying to get that under control. So anytime I feel the sudden urge to buy something, I just remember this quote and it's been super effective for me. And that's really all I have with this art journal so far. It's really slow going, but as I mentioned in my lineup video, it's not something that I am pressuring myself to fill up. I want this to be a fun process for me and not a stressful process. And if I pressure myself to finish it quickly, then it's definitely going to be something that I dread and I don't want that for this journal. So this journal will be filled whenever it's filled, but so far so good. I'm really happy with the spreads that I made so far. I do still need to fix up this mistake here, so I'll get to that eventually. But I'm really happy with this cover. This just makes me so happy to see. I love it. And in the back, I don't have anything. I just have a blank cover here. I will put some stickers in here later on. And pulling out the Foxy Fix dashboard, I do have a scrap of paper in the back as well. But since this is tucked into the cover here, I decided to just leave it for now. And then in the back, you'll see the Fast Jossma logo here at the bottom. So this is how the cover looks like without the notebook. I did pull out some other notebooks here just to show you how it fits. I have here a proper field note size notebook. So here it is next to my passport insert. So as you see, it is taller. And this one fits perfectly. There you go. So let's add the Foxy Fix dashboard as well. There you go. That looks perfect. So if you have a cover like this and you're maybe struggling to add decoration to it or you want to just make it a little bit more fun for you, you can 
certainly use a dashboard to put over your cover and then you can add all the deco you want and you can also add if you want a sticker pocket here as well like those traveler's company sticker pockets those would look really good on this side so you can also put it in the front so those are just my suggestions and then let's go ahead and add this pen just so we can get an idea of what this looks overall so there you go that's how it would look with a field note size notebook got that little bump there and then i also have some moleskin notebooks here that we can use so i have a soft cover moleskin here and a hardcover moleskin and if you didn't know the hardcover moleskin is actually slightly larger than the soft cover so it's a little bit wider and a little bit taller just because of this hardcover i think but the soft cover moleskin is the exact same size as the field notes here let me show you there you go so i think a soft cover moleskin would be a really good candidate for this cover as well and i'm just going to go ahead and slip it in there you go there's also a slip pocket here so you can add this cover into this slip here but i'll just leave it out and again with the pen here's the soft cover moleskin with the pen again it gets in the way of the notebook i think another improvement they can do is maybe make the pen loop sit in the center here so it doesn't bump into the notebook i don't know what do you guys think but that's what you can expect with the soft cover moleskin and then the hard cover since this is slightly bigger than the soft cover i'm not sure if it'll fit this cover i think it might if you just stretch out the leather i have done that in the past with a different cover but it was not something that i was comfortable doing so yeah i think if you were to just really force this in it will go all the way in but it is very difficult to do so that's something to keep in mind i think the best notebooks you can put in this is either a proper field notes insert or a soft cover moleskin so let me take out the clip and my deco and we can take a proper look at the cover here here's the cover without all of the extra deco and as you see it is very soft it's gotten so soft since i've been using it and again it's got this really lovely sheen and you can see all of the scuff marks that i've been putting onto it i wonder if i can rub these out let me see it looks like it's slowly disappearing i'm not sure <laughs> but i don't mind these cuff marks at all with this kind of letter i think it adds to the character of the cover and you can see there's some pull up in the middle too from the center of me just using it normally let me go ahead and put back all of my stuff in here one thing i forgot to mention is this pocket here on top it's really deep into the cover so as you see there's my finger so i have this really tall scallop deco that i like to put into all of my card pockets and it goes all the way in there there you go and then i have this little scallop deco although i ended up covering it up with my stickers was that how it was before i can't remember anyways that's good enough for me so i don't use a pen in the pen loop here typically i like keeping a pen with my covers but since this is my art journal and i don't have a dedicated pen to it i don't mind leaving this empty and then my button closure there you go let me just adjust it a little bit all right so there we go that is the final form of my setup so overall would i recommend this cover yes i would if you like soft pliable leather if you don't mind having the pen loop right here or maybe if you don't even need a pen at all you just need a simple cover for your field notes or your moleskin yes i would recommend this cover however if you want something maybe a bit easier to get into and a little bit more functional i would consider the other cover they have with the clasp and the pen loop placed on the outside here so those are my honest thoughts overall i am enjoying this cover for how i'm using it it's just a simple art journal nothing too complicated and again this letter is just so plush and soft look at that all right so that's it for this video if you're still here thank you so much for watching the next video i want to make is my a6 journal setup so if you're interested in that please do consider subscribing in the meantime this is baba notes and i'll see you next time bye